Day 6, December 6, 2022 Today, let us pray for all the lost children of the world. Our Mother of Salvation tells us in the message of Wednesday, January 7, 2015 at 4.30 p.m. My dear children, you must prepare for my son's plans to redeem you all in his eyes. His time for intervention to awaken the spirit within you is drawing close. Pray, pray, pray for all the lost children in the world who have severed all links to my son, although they were weaned on the truth. Soon, they will be in no doubt as to his existence, and you must pray that human pride will not come between them and God's mercy. You must pray, especially for those souls who have betrayed my son in so many ways, that they are given the courage to humble themselves before him and beg for mercy. The truth, dear children, given to humanity by the manifestation of my eternal Father through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, is being torn apart. Do not embrace any form of doctrine which does not uphold the truth as a whole. You must never say that part of the truth is important and then deny the rest of it. You either accept the word of God laid down by him or you do not. Time is if time is of no significance. What was given thousands of years ago to man through the word of God has not changed, nor can it. Anything which comes from God must remain intact, no matter how difficult this is. To remain true to God's teachings requires great strength stamina, and a willful determination. Love is the way in which you can remain true to my son, but this love must be unconditional. It must never be sullied by love for yourself, because this does not give glory to God. If you truly love God, you will remain loyal to the word. If you say you are a disciple of my son, Jesus Christ, then you must follow his teachings without condition. You must love one another as he loves you without condition. You cannot say that you love God if you do not love one another. You cannot walk in his footsteps if you do not forgive those who trespass against you. It is only when you abide by the laws of God that you will enter his glorious kingdom. Your beloved mother, Mother of Salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.